What's good, everybody? And welcome back <laughs> to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that you guys being here. And without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this particular topic. This topic, I, I really don't think it has been touched, right? I don't think it's been touched at all. Uh, I, I'm i in a whole lot of trucking groups, and I came across a whole bunch of other topics, but this particular topic, I don't, I don't think it's been touched. Now, we know that truckers could get terminated for just about any and everything. Uh, if the low's late to once too many times, uh, if you do improper traffic driving or anything like that, I mean, a driver could just, I mean, a company could just up and release a driver for whatever reason, whatever candor, whatever, wherever they at. If a company calls you up and say, hey, we need you to park that truck and we need you to park it at the nearest truck stop. And you go, wait, wait a minute. I'm, why you want me to park it at the nearest truck stop? Because unfortunately, we, we, we're going to have to let you go. Let me go? Let me go where? Like, what? We're recanceling your contract, Wolfus. Wow. Okay. So that means I will have to, that means, no, no. That means you will have to leave the truck where we tell you to leave it at. And if we tell you to leave it at a truck stop, then that's where you're going to have to leave it at. If you don't leave it at where they tell you to leave it at, then right now you're considered a problem that's grand theft auto that's that's grand theft they they can they can call the state police or the local police to come and and get you up out of that truck right that's that's what they're going to do and see a lot of a lot of young truck drivers you you guys that's coming into this industry y'all don't know that see this is what the recruiters don't tell you the recruiters ain't going to tell you, the recruiters ain't going to tell you, well, we could terminate you for any reason. I mean, think about it. This is an at will position. So we can terminate your contract at will. So there's no if, ands, or buts about it, you know. Now, you would think they would have to give you a reason for them kind I mean for them terminating your contract I mean that would be nice that would be understandable like yo why why are you doing that to me what did I do wrong or whatever the case may be but nine times out of ten they they don't have to they don't have to tell you so can a trucking company leave a driver stranded well, the longer the short answer is, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you will quickly realize that this is not an uncommon, I mean, uh, uncommon experience. It's all too commonly that drivers will end up hours and hours and hours away from their home, especially when a truck breaks down, you know, but. They, they won't be able to get home for the night. You know, if the truck break down, the, co uh, the company do a whole lot of nothing. But like I said, can a company leave a driver stranded? Hell yeah, they can. They absolutely can and will. And they have done it. They have done it. I mean, there's a few there's a few drivers that I have talked to that that companies left high and dry. You know, and it's crazy. It's a common practice. This is not to say that all trucking companies would do that. I mean, some of them would try to get you home and and 
say, okay, thank you. Please come again. But majority of them will tell you to park that bad boy and you have to make it home yourself. I mean, if this happened to you, leave it in the comments below. Let, let me know your horror stories of being stranded by a trucking company. All right. But, you know, is it is there, there, there is no strand. There's no standards. There's no regulations nor legal requirements against this. It really isn't. Employers, again, are within their rights to leave you high and dry without return transportation. For real. I mean, think about that. Think about that when you're when you're looking for a, a trucking company that you you want to call home. Although this is a business practice that is not ethical or moral, it is legal for the companies to do that they are within their rights you know again like i said the question can a trucking company leave a driver stranded yeah if you work for a company like in california but you're driven out to a job in new york and they fire you there will be no parting gifts or transportation including the fly back to california I mean, you all the way in New York, broke. <laughs> That's one thing for sure. You, you, you don't want to be broke. You don't want to go to any, and that's the problem with some of these new drivers that's coming into this industry. They always think that, yeah, we can get you out there, but whatever the case happens, they won't get you back home. That's why I always say, and, and listen, once again, you would need at least $300 to $500. You would need at least a credit card. All right? Those two major things you going to need. You're going to need at least a credit card and at least two or three to $500 to start with. Because if you live in Ohio, such as myself, and you go all the way up to Minnesota, you go all the way down to Texas, you go all the way over to California, you go all the way down to Florida, and let's say it didn't work out or whatever the case, and they had to send you back home, it's not up to that company to send you back home. It isn't. That company going to be like, all right, well, you know, you 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 didn't make it through whatever, whatever. All right, bye. I, 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 you going to get me back home? Nope. It's not infrequent for companies to route a driver towards the nearest drop off terminal and then leave that driver to fend for themselves. Some argue that this is why drivers are are told not to pack very much because it's a standard pro I mean standard pro produce process process there we go you will commonly read this about other drivers being stranded in cases of a broke down truck and no way to get home a job being completed but no return booked a truck being collected after an employee is fired truck being repossessed and the company is left without food or shelter. Now, what is the what what is the legal legal ease behind stranding str uh, stranding your drivers? There ain't none, right? According to a recent updated federal laws, employers cannot fire, demote, or discriminate against any employee base on race, religion, disability, and or gender. However, there is a right to work. You have the right to work and they have the right to fire you as long as it's not legal or illegal. I'm sorry. Most states have such laws and it's not hard for an employer to find a legal way to fire you. And before you know it, you're gone. 
No ride home. <laughs> no, no bus home. No nothing. But there is a lot of stuff that the trucking companies can not legally do. There is stuff like trucking companies can get away with leaving the driver stranded and there is no state or federal law telling them otherwise. However, some things they legally cannot do to drivers, which are charge them high fees for truck damage or a minor accident. Expect you as a driver to pay for gas. Expect you as a driver to cover for maintenance on a truck unless you're a lease driver. Expect you expect you to drive a truck that is broken down and not functional is in hazardous weather by violating legal speed limits. And if you are ill, fatigued or incapacitated. Those are your rights as a truck driver. You can't be terminated for those uh, that I just mentioned. All right. Just know that. Just know that. Do your research. All right. Before I get on up out of here, do your research on trucking companies. All of them. All of them. Do your research because a lot of a lot of recruiters don't sit down and talk to you about they'll tell you all of the good stuff, but they won't tell you the bad. Their their position is to get you in that driver's seat at all costs. Talk to your employer, you know, find out, you know, what what some of the company's policies is. If you're not familiar Definitely make sure you read that book. All right. Sometimes you might want to take time out and just pull that book out on your 10 hour and just go over some of the things that the company uh, do's or don'ts in the company. And last but not least, man, last but not least, you know, except that this is common in the trucking industry, period. All right. And words of wisdom, I think we can all agree that leaving an employee stranded is wrong, but that it doesn't change the reality that it still happens. Again, researching the company and how ethical their practice are will be the best line of defense against any practice. You can do something about it. Make sure you do what your employee wants or get your own rig. <laughs> the only person who was the only person who was strand your <laughs> the only person who was strand you is yourself. Especially if you run out of fuel, man. Well, that's about it. I I hope um I hope this brings value to any new drivers that's coming into the industry this year. Uh, know that February 7th, there's going to be some changes for you guys uh, to get y'all to get your CDLs. And for guys that already have your CDLs and you don't have your endorsements, there's going to be changes for that as well. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, the three S's. Share, support, and wait, what is it? Subscribe, support, and share the content. My name is Lockout Men, and if this brings you any value, and if it does, make sure you hit that like button and come back for more as I release content on the daily. I'll talk to you later. You guys have a good evening, and I'll come back at you with another one. If you have any questions, any Q&As, Definitely leave it in the comments below and shout out to the subscriber that brought this question to my attention. You guys take it easy and I'll talk to you later. Peace.